Jay Washington here again with that hashtag show, talking to the two men who are responsible for bringing back something that was a part of a lot of our kids and childhood and teenage and even some adult years growing up, but they now brought it back. And I'm so honored to talk to these two men, Bruce Smith and Ralph Farquhar. How are you, fellas? We're doing What's good, Jay. Man, listen, let me tell you something. First of all, to talk to both of y'all is an honor. Ralph, you've been a part of my life since I was a kid as a comedian. <laughs> I mean, growing up with comedy and as a stand-up comedian now, everything you've done, I'm, I'm honored to talk to you, Bruce. The animation and the work you've done, it just speaks volumes. And to talk about the Proud Family in itself in its first iteration, that was iconic to have a Black family on Disney being shown as the Black family, even though they had their quirks, but it was like, this is a Black family. And to bring it back, what made you guys want to revisit this and with a more modern tone, if you will? Hmm. Well, we felt like, you know, listen, when we did the show 20 years ago, Rob and I both knew that, you know, after the 50 episodes, we still had a whole lot to say. Like, you know, we were just, you know, getting into the truest crux or the truest um, uh, version of what we thought the show was, guiding it to, you know, where we feel like, you know, we can tell any story put before mm -hmm. us. We can talk about any topic. So in those 20 years, you know, the most surprising thing is that with the level of success of the show that I guess it experienced, nothing came behind us. Like that, you know what I mean? It was Very like true. man, where it's like, I think the only thing you really had of substance was probably like the boondocks. So, um, so there was really nothing else there that spoke to, you know, the African-American family in the way that the proud family did. So, um, and, and through all of that, you know, there was, you know, um, things that we didn't have the first time around, which is like social media, you know, and, mm -hmm. and just, you know, the explorations of race in your face type of vibe, you know what A I mean? Budget. And, yeah, <laughs> I was just saying, Rob, but like we got money this time yeah. around. Money right. changes everything. They let us do a little exactly. bit more. Now. <laughs> yeah, so so that mattered. I think when once we got the opportunity, Disney Plus, you know, was 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 now like you know in the fold, and mm -hmm. and uh, and they wanted something to to sort of grab a new audience, and then you know they reached out, found Ralph and us again, and and you know we drop what we we're doing, and we like, yeah, we'll do this because we want to do it our way, right? We want to do it sort of untethered, you know and unapologetic and let's let us lean into all the real stuff that we we know our audience was was waiting for and with uh those of us doing the interviews got the chance to see the first two episodes you lean into it all the way and that's what i love i was like oh we're gonna take all the modern takes on things people getting canceled all right we got we got almost an instagram we got all this and that was a beautiful thing ralph you've been a part of the black cultural lexicon for so many years whether people know who you are or not people will see your name but not know the face in many instances but now you guys are bringing this back in the midst of all this influx of positive black television does that even warm your heart more well yeah it's, it's look it's amazing it's a it's a a, a, a renaissance if you will mm -hmm. in terms of uh, uh black themed uh entertainment on tv uh, uh, for sure. And it's, uh, it's great to be a part of that. And the weird thing about it was, but in animation, we ain't not so much. And, <laughs> <laughs> but, and, and, you know, and that's, uh, you know, the, uh, we, we certainly want that to change, but at the same time, the producer and me, Hey, that's opportunity. So, you know, right. we want, want it proud family to come back, back in the years before and, and sort of Bruce and I would cry, why did it ever end? You know, timing is everything. And I'm glad we're coming back just now because now being on uh, D plus, we can do a more adventuresome show, if you will. Mm -hmm. We can attack the topics uh, uh, Bruce was talking about. And I think, look, if you think we were leaning in in the first couple of episodes you saw, just, just, just wait. Brace yourself. Oh well, let me let me just say that I use leaning in very loosely. Okay, given the fact I know I got like they gave me the cue, I got a minute left. I use the term leaning in loosely. Like you guys actually touch on it. And when I I'm about to wrap this up, I want to start with you, Bruce, real quick. What can the people expect in this first season of the reboot? Well, listen, I think you know we're going to revisit the world in a in a much more exciting, you know, unleashed uh, way. You're going to see all your favorite characters. We got all of our cast back. You know, and um, they sound exactly the same. Man, wow. don't they? <laughs> yeah, that's the beauty of animation, man. You don't age. You know what I mean? It's like yeah, you know, nobody, you put, aged. <laughs> nobody aged. Nobody <laughs> aged. Uh, 
a couple of years, but it just allows us to lean into the teen years that, you know, Jay, you remember your teen years? Like, like, like that's the thing. It's like, we're going to tell those types of stories that we all resonate and remember and, and get with the teens to reckon uh, what they're going through today. And that's what the key to the fantastic writing brings us. Yeah. And, 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 and Penny's going to get a boyfriend and, and the brothers are going to hate this guy because he's going to, Perfect boyfriend. Everybody's oh, gonna... Lord. <laughs> I'm going to stop you right there, Ralph. I'm going to let the surprise play out. Ralph Farquhar, Bruce Smith, thank you so much for everything you guys do. And thank you all for watching here. Stay tuned and check out the Proud Family when it drops on D+.